So the military can now put voices into people's heads. <clears throat> you can make people do things, and that's very easy. I could do it. I could do it to you in less than three days. So I, such as assassins? I could turn you into an assassin in less than three days. So this led me to dig deeper. I first wanted to confirm, without a doubt, was this voice-to-skull technology real? And if so, how did it work? I soon learned that if the average American took the time to look at documents via the Freedom of Information Act and the Library of Congress and Patent Office, they would be horrified at what is openly and admittedly being tested, tried, and written about in their very own country and on their very own fellow Americans. Dr. Joseph Sharp and Alan Fry experimented with microwaves seeking to transmit spoken words directly into the audio cortex. Dr. Fry, a biophysicist at GE's Advanced Electronics Center, Cornell University, and a contractor for the Office of Naval Research, discovered in 1958 that the auditory system responds to electromagnetic energy and appeared to originate from within or near the back of the head. Fry's work in this field gave rise to the so-called Fry effect, which is now more commonly referred to as microwave hearing. In ordinary uh, sound perception, sound that goes into the uh, ear canal gets amplified by the small bones in the middle ear and then gets to the inner ear where the cochlea resides and in the cochlea is converted to electrical impulse. Two, three, two. But in the case of a micro, the auditory effect is the source is electromagnetic. So if you expose the biological tissue to a pulse of uh, microwave energy, the tissue expands and induces a vibration. Instead of going through the middle ear, the microwave-induced vibration gets propagated to the inner ear directly. Renowned author and speaker Nick Begich cites more than 30 patents that show mind control is possible. Begich used this infrasound device to demonstrate on me. They used it, I believe, in the Gulf War to tell the enemy at that time, lay down your guns, this is all of And it worked pretty well because hearing voices which have no direction or sound, you have to assume that it's some spiritual entity. Uh, so it works pretty well. And so when I aim it towards you, what you hear is made right next to your ears. So again, this idea of being able to put sound anywhere you want to is really starting to catch on. Uh, we've got the military had just deployed some of these into Iraq where you can put fake troop movements a quarter of a mile away on a hillside. Mm. Or you can whisper in the ear of a supposed terrorist some biblical verse. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> we make a version of this which puts out 155 decibels. Pain is 120. So it allows you to go nearly a mile away and communicate with people and there can be a public beach just off to the side and they don't even know it's turned on. We sell those to the military presently for about $70,000 and they're buying them as fast as we can make them. Well, you have to understand what's happening, military industrial complex. They kind of figured out if you just go to a country and you blow the country to pieces, then you got to go in there and you have to rebuild everything you destroyed. They said there's got to be a better way to do this so that we can just go in there and we can just defeat the minds of the individuals, keep them from fighting us, and we don't have to destroy the infrastructure. We don't blow anything up anymore. We just go in there, turn these machines on, and force these people that would normally oppose us to be so sick that they just can't get up and do that. To make everybody so ill that they can't get out of bed and, and make a war. And so this is the future of warfare. Wow. Okay. So the technology exists, but could it actually be being used on people like Nick Cruz to encourage these shootings? We need to take note of how many other previous mass shooters have made similar claims about hearing voices and dig a little deeper to see, have there been other mass shooters who have complained of the same issue? The answer is a resounding yes. Now coincide this with the fact that most of you probably know Richie from Boston. His channel was taken down recently for a bit and it had to do with his video regarding what? 
targeted individual. Targeted individuals represent an umbrella name for people who are victims of these multiple forms of harassment, whether it be voice to skull or actual microwave weapons that are coming into the home. YouTuber Richie from Boston also had previously come out and shared that he had been attacked with these microwave weapons. I never talk about it because I never wanted to give the people the satisfaction to know that their techniques or whatever they were doing were working. But what was happening to me is in the middle of the night at the exact same time, every time I would wake up and my entire body would be vibrating like there was electricity going through it. My heart would be racing and certain other times my skin would become hot to the touch like somebody was holding a magnifying glass on it under the sun. That's electronic harassment. That is telling you to shut up. Now if any of you think that these microwave weapons are just fantasy, you should see what the army just put up not too long ago regarding these very weapons. <laughs> Marines and several other DOD representatives had quite the heated demonstration at Quantico, Virginia from the Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate. This is a military area. Move away from the perimeter. I say again, this is a military area. Move away from the perimeter. Their new active denial system boasts a reach far beyond any other non-lethal system. About seven football fields to give it some perspective. As you can see here, a demonstration of its effects. You have grown men told to be aggressive and move forward while holding large weapon-like objects, throw them down and run away like little kids. This active denial system is proof of one form of silent, invisible microwave weapon technology. It is fully operational and already in use today. It can be targeted to an individual person or blanketing an entire area. They're bragging about it. They're bragging about it for crowd control dispersion, but what is stopping them from using it covertly on Americans right now? Apparently nothing. While the technology to cast voices into people's heads has been around since the 50s, the ability to cast voices into a particular person's head anywhere, anytime in the world is a newer technology. Electronic surveillance weapon specialist Roger Tulsis explains how. What they do is they go and get your garbage in front of your house and get your DNA and then once they've got your DNA sequence, they can, can then go to a supercomputer and they can biocode directed energy attacks that will only go and bioresonate with your body. So that three people can be standing right next to you and nobody's going to feel the harassment except you because these signals are biocoded to your body's tuning only. Now imagine if you had these types of weapons assaulting you in your own home, preventing sleep, causing extreme pain and unwanted negative emotions. Okay, I'm going to show you family. Look. High radiation detected. See, it keeps going in and out as I move it. On this wall right here by my bed. This is my bed. This is my bed, and this is where I receive the most of my attacks. It says, high radiation detected. As I move away, it's picking up levels in here. The phone is pointing outside the window. Nothing, no, no reading from outside. And when you go up against this wall, boom very high levels of radiation. Now accompany that by public gang stalking as well as actual voices telling you awful things in your own head. Sadly this is not a fictitious Hollywood movie plot. This is happening to some say tens or even hundreds of thousands of Americans right now. Surprisingly, ex-president Obama established holding an annual open committee of bioethics. Here is what one doctor who spoke there had to say about the reality of the situation. MK Ultra radiation experiments mostly were done without informed consent. They were funded by the DOD and intelligence agencies in the community. We are seeing an alarming rate of complaints of use of electromagnetic weapons, uh, microwave auditory effects, silent sound spectrum, EEG cloning, which has taken the lab out of the laboratory and into the home. Most of these, from the research that we reviewed, can be done remotely. Uh, it seems to be more weapons research than medical research. I personally corresponded with upwards of 1,500 victims all complaining of identical complaints from every state in the nation of being exposed to electromagnetic radiation for the use of cognitive control or behavior control. Thank you. When it comes to thinking of Nick Cruz, I mean, if he actually heard these voices in his head telling him how to do it, you know, I would think, well, gosh, just because I heard something in my head, it doesn't mean I would go through with it. But you have to understand the deep levels of torture 
that many of these victims are having. It's hard to know what these people hear because no one else can hear it. No one can record this. So to find out the kind of things that were said to them, I did find this man named Tivon Rivers. He's a cryptologic technician. He had high security clearance in the military before he became a victim of this harassment program. Um, he since has been very outspoken about their methodology. Since he moved to a remote location in another country to deter their attacks, he specifically suffered with the voice to skull. Here's what he had to say about the kinds of things that they would say into his head. It's the shock and awe of this, of this weapons platform. When you're hit with it, you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on with me. And there you are. You're, you're tracked 24-7. Now that we've defined what V2K is, can you describe your experience with it? These signals, when it hits the skull, the apparition of our voices. So someone's on the other end speaking a string of sentences that only you, the target, can hear. What kinds of things do they say? For lack of a better word, uh, quite frankly, demonic. And I think, by the way, these scripts vary. Mm -hmm. They vary from person to person. I believe these scripts are to, to destroy the person on all levels so that they have a mental breakdown. So for me, um, the intelligence would be the following sentences. Uh, you're a spy, you are a traitor, someone needs to kill you and take you out. Or sometimes they'll say in a third person, someone needs to take this person out. I think a lot of people who are experiencing V2K, by the way, are threatened regularly with their lives about each day they're gonna be dead. Yeah. Or they're gonna die in their sleep. I found dozens and dozens of YouTubers who have been suddenly diagnosed with schizophrenia, but whose forms of symptoms perfectly match the torture programs of psychotronic weaponry that targeted individuals describe. They detail the voice to skull, with the voices often telling them that they should fear for their lives or hurt others. They describe having their thoughts read through these EEG weapons. As well, they describe the painful effects of microwave weaponry to their bodies. There is no telling how many are walking around with a false diagnosis of schizophrenia, but who are actually targeted. In some cases, the controllers seem to want them to stay on their meds. Could this be medical research? 